Hi, thanks for watching this video on getting started with Amazon Application Recovery Controller's new feature called Region Switch. My name is John Fermento, and I'm a Principal Product Manager at AWS. Arc Region Switch is a new capability that you can use for multi-region application recovery. It's fully managed and allows you to build your Region Switch plan that you can use to orchestrate the specific components for a, spe for a particular application stack, or you can orchestrate recovery across multiple applications, say if there's dependencies among them. It provides centralized control and real-time recovery dashboards, so you can view the recovery process across your whole application portfolio. And it also provides plan evaluation, where after you create a region switch plan, region switch regularly evaluates that plan to keep an eye out for any misconfigurations or things that would prevent your recovery and alert you so you can take action and fix them. To get started with region switch, you'll first want to create a region switch plan. And in that plan, you're going to define your regions, you're going to set your recovery approach, whether you're active passive or active active. You'll add execution blocks, which are the discrete steps that allow you to execute during recovery. And that will be all part of your workflow configuration. Then as part of a tester exercise, you can execute the recovery by executing your region switch plan. You'll select the target region and your execution mode. And then finally, you can observe and report on the recovery process. You can view detailed logs and use the regional dashboarding to understand the exact state of executions across that particular region. Region switch has nine execution blocks that you can use to build your recovery workflow as part of your region switch plan. There are execution blocks for compute scaling, so you can scale compute resources as part of your recovery. We have database execution blocks, such as the Aurora global database execution block that you can use for recovering your global database. We have network execution blocks that you can use ARC routing controls or Amazon Route 53 health checks to shift traffic as part of your operations to switch regions. And then we have a group of actions that allow you to do specific things within your plan that you need to do as part of your application, such as have a custom action with Lambda or have a human approval um, or orchestrate recovery across multiple region switch plans. A key component of region switch is plan evaluation. When you create a region switch plan, the plan evaluator runs every 30 minutes or when you make any changes or create a plan for the first time. And what it's going to do is it's going to check IAM permissions, resource configurations, and if you're using any of the compute scaling execution blocks, it's going to look at running capacity in each region. If it finds any issues that would prevent the plan from executing successfully, it will provide you warnings in the AWS console. You can get it through the region switch API or through event bridge notifications. Let's now jump to the console to see a quick demo of region switch. Here we are at the region switch console. The first thing we want to do is create a region switch plan. And remember that a region switch plan should be scoped for a particular application. So in this case, I'm going to create a region switch plan for the phone app. We can select the multi-region approach. In this case, I'm going to select active passive but you can select which one is appropriate for your application. I'm then gonna select the regions that are applicable to my application with my primary being in US East 1 and my standby being in US West 2. I'm gonna define a recovery time objective. Region switch will use this uh, to help you calculate how you're doing with regards to this objective. I'm gonna select a role which region switch will use uh, and assume to execute the plan on your behalf. Um, in the region switch documentation, you'll see a great detail as to what are the specific permissions you need based on how you define and create your region switch plan. You can define specific application health alarms in each region. Region switch uses these to help calculate the actual recovery time and help you understand how you're doing with regards to your recovery time objective. So I will select two alarms that I have uh, one in each region. Lastly, you can define any tags that you want for your region switch plan. And then so we'll create that plan. So here we are on the plan details page. You'll see some details right up at the top around the plan evaluation status, which I briefly talked about before. When you first create a plan, the plan evaluation effectively looks to make sure that your plan has been replicated to both regions and is healthy. In this case, it is. You'll see some other details such as the ARN, the IM role you assigned, and your recovery approach. There'll be additional details here across the tabs where you can look at plan execution history, monitoring status, any warnings that would show from plan evaluation. You can define triggers here to automate the execution of a plan based on a CloudWatch alarm. 
You can optionally share a plan with Resource Access Manager if you want to centralize plans in one account and share them out with application teams. And then you can view any tags for the plan. But let's go ahead and create some workflows. So here we are at the workflow design page. For this active passive plan, I'm going to create a workflow that's going to be used to activate either region. And so effectively, I'm going to build one workflow that's going to model what recovery looks like for my application. And then when I go to execute my plan, I'm going to pass in the region that I want to activate, it, it, whether it be East 1 or West 2. Here we are at the workflow designer. You can add specific steps to orchestrate your recovery for your application in parallel or in sequence. Now within those, you can add the following execution blocks. So we support compute scaling, database recovery, networking, and then region switch actions. Within compute scaling, you can scale EC2 auto scaling group resources, EKS resources, or ECS services as part of your recovery. And how that works is you'll define the resources in each region, and as part of your recovery, you can set the specific percentage to match to scale the compute capacity in the region you're going to. It's important to note that using this scaling action does not guarantee capacity. And if you have a critical workload, we still recommend you reserve capacity and have it running uh, in the event of the recovery for when you need it. You can use Aurora Global Database Execution Block to support the switchover or failover API and have that orchestrated as part of your recovery. If you're an existing ARC customer using routing controls, you can add the routing control execution block to, to toggle the state change of a routing control to shift traffic as part of your recovery. If you're a Route 53 DNS customer, you can use the health check execution block to trigger a health check based failover using the Route 53 data plan as part of your region switch plan. And then we have these specific actions for region switch, such as the custom action Lambda execution block, which effectively allows you to add a specific step to do whatever it is you need to do as part of your recovery. You can insert a manual approval, which you can tie or associate to an IAM role to restrict approvers to a certain set of individuals and have a human in the loop as part of your recovery. And last but not least, you can use the region switch plan execution block to create a parent-child relationship with plans so you can orchestrate recovery across multiple applications. But let's take a look at a pre-created plan and I'll show you what that looks like and then we can execute that recovery. Here's a region switch plan I created for the demo app. So let's look at the created workflow. You can see I've defined a couple execution blocks to execute in parallel right when the plan st starts execution. I'm gonna scale my EC2 instances in my auto scaling group and then put up a maintenance banner on my website using the custom Lambda function. Then I have a manual approval, which is going to have a human in loop to confirm and approve this workflow to continue execution, where I will do a switch over for my Aurora database and then finally shift traffic for my, uh, for my DNS record using the ARC routing control. So now let's take a look at executing this plan. So to execute the plan, I will click the Execute Plan button on the Plan Details page. I'll select the region that we're going to activate. In my case, we're going to activate US East 1. And then I'm going to acknowledge uh, that we're going to execute the plan and it's going to switch regions for me. And then I'm going to start execution. The AWS console has redirected me to US East 1. That's because whenever you execute a region switch plan, the execution always takes place from the region you're activating or the region you're going to. And that's an important resilience characteristic because we always want to take a dependency on the region we're going and not the region that we're leaving. So we can see here that the execution started, the maintenance page was put up, and now we're working on the compute scaling. Here's the detailed execution logs as to what is happening with this execution. We can see that the Lambda function uh, started with this particular payload. We can also see that 10 running instances were found in West 2, and that a request to scale East 1 by 10 instances took place. It's also important to note that region switch regularly looks at the running capacity in each of your regions as part of plan evaluation and stores that durably in the data plan. So when you go to execute your plan, it's looking at the local values of how much capacity you need not to take a dependency on describing certain resources as part of the recovery. Uh, we see here that the Lambda returned to 200 and was successful and that the compute scaling succeeded. And now it's pending manual approval. So we'll scroll up and we'll see that that plan is pending approval and I will approve that. 
Now that it's been approved, the plan will continue on and we should see the Aurora switch over as started. So now we'll give this a minute and let Aurora complete. All right, it looks like the Aurora switchover is completed. And we can see that the arc riding control state changes took place. And if I page to the next set of logs, I will see that the region switch plan execution is now just waiting for the application health indicator based on the CloudWatch alarm I provided. All right, it looks like the step has succeeded for the application health monitor. And now we have a successful execution. Thanks for taking the time to watch this demo video. 